Hi everyone. As always, we're here for two things. Anime Opie and True Love. So let's talk about manga. Our first manga is Aikora, aka Love and Collage, an ecchi rom-com harem that centers around Hachibe Maeda, a humble gentleman who virtuously admires women, not for their personalities, but for their individual parts. More specifically, he enjoys cat-like blue eyes, big opie, voices with a strong bass, and legs that apparently don't show ankles. Our hero's journey begins as he heads to a new school in Tokyo, bumps into an innocent damsel and sees her pansu, and then arrives at a burned down dormitory, only to find out he'll have to stay in the shed behind a girl's dorm. And in that girl's dorm, he meets all the women of his dreams. We have Tsubame Ameyagi, dorm landlady and teacher with long straight legs. We also meet Sakurako Tenmaku, an Asuka Soryu lookalike with a tsundere personality to fit the role. And what's even better is the raw machismo she brings out of men, just like this stunning Chad who screams that he wants her blue eyes to gaze upon his dirty body. Next we have Yukari Tsukino, the perfect waifu for all lovers of glasses or big opai. And lastly, a ninja-like girl who wields a kunai and loves to sing, named Kirino Otori. The manga has 119 amazing chapters and you get to watch Hachibei not only develop romantic moments with each of these girls, but also end up in dramatic encounters with thugs, the most beautiful girl in school, and many other quirky personalities. Next is our Yuri manga titled Whispered Words or Sasameki Koto. The manga's protagonist is Murasame Sumika, a glasses-wearing intelligent girl who also excels at sports and is supposed to one day take over her family's karate dojo. Sumika is in love with her friend Kazuma. However, Kazuma only likes cute girls. This poses a problem for Sumika since she does not see herself as cute. However, one day, Masaki Akemiya confesses that he thinks Sumika is cute. This empowers her and she finally decides it is time to confess to Kazuma. But before she can even confess, Kazuma starts pointing out the things she loves about Sumika, like how reliable Sumika is and how Sumika has a nice face. And then, Kazuma says Sumika isn't her type. And it becomes clear that Kazuma prefers girls that are around her height, as opposed to much taller girls like Sumika. So basically, this manga is pretty unique in the sense that, instead of seeing cute romantic moments developing, we're just constantly running into obstacles early on that give us a sense that this relationship might not take off. But what I described is only the first 3 out of 53 chapters, so read on to see if Sumika's love finally blossoms like she dreams. The last manga I want to discuss is a one-shot, so I won't say much. The manga is called It Takes a Wizard and takes place on the island of Manhattan, which has been abandoned for three years and has become a place of dark magic where goblins, trolls, ghouls, harpies, and all kinds of monsters reside. But things might start to change after Isaac Silverberg is taken off Death's Row and sent to the island to rescue a damsel in distress in exchange for his life. So definitely give it a shot if you enjoy fantasy manga or blonde waifus that can fight. Thanks for watching this vid. Comment to let me know which manga you might check out or what you've read recently. And like and subscribe for more anime, manga, gaming, and figure unboxing content. See ya.